and welcome everyone to the Crystal Ray Network's Putting Education to Work event, sponsored by Career Spring, BJ and BB Casson, and Thompson Reuters. My name is Kay Ingram, and I am a proud 2012 graduate of Crystal Ray New York High School. That's right, this place right here. And I am so excited to be your MC for our first ever virtual celebration. Now, I'm also a graduate of the University of Southern California and a member of the National Board of Directors for the Crystal Ray Network. And I want to inspire you to help us provide the Crystal Ray experience to even more students. We have an amazing program lined up for you. You're going to hear all about Crystal Ray Network and our 37, yes, count them, 37 schools across the country. We'll be checking in with corporate and university partners, investors from coast to coast, and of course, some of our incredible students. You are going to hear why this career-focused college preparatory model is so special and why we ask for your support to help us grow into the future. So we've made giving really easy. Okay, you can make a gift at any time by selecting the blue Donate Now button on your screen or by texting GIVECRN to 41 so why not pull out your phone and get started now? Greetings, Cristo Rey friends and family from the East Coast to the West Coast. I'm Elizabeth Gettel, President and CEO of the Cristo Rey Network. I'm delighted to welcome you to this virtual event, which provides us the special opportunity to bring together our national community of supporters propelling this mission forward. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the impact of Cristo Rey schools on students, their families, and our country's future generations. We're excited to celebrate this year's 25th anniversary of the Cristo Rey education model, pioneered by the Jesuits in Chicago. Today, 37 high schools in 25 states serve 12,000 young people from families of limited economic means. These students, along with our 20,000 alumni, are achieving their aspirations for a lifetime of success. Our vibrant alumna MC, Kay Angram, reflects this reality. Our students are lifelong learners, and their success is based on rigor and effort, faith and service. Cristo Rey students engage in college preparatory classroom learning, integrated with our corporate work-study program, and support to and through college, all interwoven with Catholic educational values. Across our nation, Cristo Rey graduates are completing bachelor's degrees at more than twice the rate of the total low-income population. As our students complete college and pursue careers that they may not have otherwise envisioned, their economic success creates a ripple effect, impacting family and community and reducing generational or situational poverty. As you can imagine, our corporate work-study programs have been significantly impacted by COVID-19. However, our commitment to excellence remains. While some student workers are in job placements now, others are engaged in workplace readiness programming to continue building their skills, such as Microsoft Office certification. We invite your contribution to our national Putting Education to Work campaign, which is not only strengthening and expanding our globally recognized network, but is seeding our ability to sustain this movement for decades to come. So, what is putting education to work? It's our first national fundraising campaign, fueling the implementation of catalyzing programs in our schools. In collaboration with national experts, our evidence-based programs are designed to continue our progress towards achieving a college graduation rate equal to that of economically advantaged youth, towards developing a talented, diverse workforce, and expanding to 50 Cristo Rey schools serving 20,000 students annually. Since 2018, LEAD campaign investments have enabled us to proceed towards our $31.5 million campaign goal. But we remain in need of new partners to bring this vision to reality. For 25 years, the Cristo Rey Network has been eliminating socioeconomic and cultural barriers that may inhibit the future success of young people. We open the doors of access to quality education, forming young people who are college ready and career prepared. Our country needs Cristo Rey schools now and for the future, and we need you. We invite you to make a gift to our campaign today. Through your generosity together, we can continue to build the capacity of tomorrow's leaders. 
with prayer and blessings for everyone who has joined us today. Viva Cristo Rey. You know, when I think about my own experience at Cristo Rey, I think about the first moment I walked through the doors of the school with my mom. I remember feeling like I was home. Looking back, I think of how the corporate work-study program prepared me for the career that I have now. But most of all, I remember this planner they had us use. On the cover, it said something to the effect of, this one-of-a-kind experience is Cristo Rey's gift to you. And what you make of it is your gift to Cristo Rey. And I took that to heart. I try to live every day to maximize the opportunities that I've been given so that I can then pass them on to others. I used to go through school like it was the easiest thing on earth. And that was until last year when I took AP US History. For the first time since I started school, I struggled in something. I felt like I wasn't good enough at it. And I felt like my best wasn't enough. And there is so many times where I felt like I wanted to give up and that I just wasn't smart enough for it and I should have just dropped the class. But my teacher never let me feel that way. She kind of always told me that I was always trying my best and my best was enough because that meant that I was growing. And in that class, I used to not know how to like take notes for it. I was like, this is not working. Why isn't it working? But then I found ways to write notes for it. I, I grew, like she told me that I was growing. And even though I didn't feel like it in the moment, I did grow. And she made me a better student and a better person because I realized that my success isn't defined by a number, but rather the work that I put into it. That's just one student story, one of the more than 12,000 current Cristo Rey students across the country, all forging their own path. One of 12,000 who sometimes stare down huge challenges in the classroom and beyond. And the support that students receive really matters. We'll meet more students shortly, but first, I'm excited to welcome Dr. Candice Bocala, a lecturer at Harvard University's Graduate School of Education. Her work centers on ensuring that schools have a strong vision for quality instruction, all while staying focused on issues of equity. The network is lucky to have her engagement, and I'm so happy to have her here with me via Zoom, of course, to share her thoughts with all of you. Candice, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. You're very welcome, Kay. Thanks for having me. So here at Cristo Rey, right, it is a college prep education. What difference does a college prep education make in a student's life? So I think that um, for me, because I study schools as organizations, first, I think it makes a difference in how we organize schools to ensure that all students are college ready. Um, for example, we want to make sure that they have rigorous curriculum, they have high quality instruction, they have multiple opportunities in the classroom to form relationships. And then really that translates into them having the opportunity to advance as far as they want educationally. So, you know, in your work, you talk about this vision, right, that schools should have. What, what is it about developing a vision that you would say is so important for academic success? So for school leaders, it's really important to have a vision because it helps you to communicate exactly what kinds of outcomes and what kinds of instruction you're hoping that your educators provide to your students and what you, what you hope your students will learn as a result of that education. So if you have a vision, you're able to clearly connect the kinds of instructional practices you hope teachers will use in classrooms with the learning environment and the outcomes you see for students. I love that because it reminds me of, we have this thing called Puente, which is a program that we do in the summer before we start at Cristo Rey. And the entire time we're talking about, you know, how do you see yourself over the next course of, you know, the rest of your time in school? And so I feel that, I feel as though that idea of creating that vision is something that, you know, Cristo Rey, my experience here, you know, has truly just made a difference, right, of mapping that out. What does it look like going to college? What does it look like entering the workforce? So um, it's great to hear that <laughs> from your perspective. Lastly, you know, what difference does a college prep education, again, you know, uh, make in a child's life, but also how can schools better support students and teachers? So this goes back to this um, idea of an internally coherent school. So this is also related to um, a school that's promoting and helping students become college ready. If you are an internally coherent school, you have strong leadership, you have relationships of trust and of safety, you're able to build an infrastructure that allows you to consistently improve upon your instruction. 
and everybody is internally focused on what does high quality look like, high quality instruction look like here at this school. Right. Well, it gets no more high quality than it does here at Crystal Ray. Thank you so much, Dr. Bocala. It was so great speaking with you. Thank you. Now, of course, all of the support that we talked about that teachers and students rely on wouldn't be possible without our donors. Please give what you can right now and know that your contributions will support programming for Crystal Ray schools and their current and future students. We asked a few of our longtime donors to share why they give to Crystal Ray. Take a look. In the beginning, when there were four schools, uh, we supported them and it, it felt a lot more like survival and growth. As time has moved on, we've evolved to a place that we are most interested in making sure not only our kids have a great experience at Crystal Ray and enjoy all of that formation and development, but they go on to college and they complete college. The buzz in, in the Cristo Ray schools is always the same. There's always this sense of positive energy. It's been a great experience for me and my family uh, to give. Yeah, we're, we're all in on, on Cristo Ray. The best way to address issues of, I'll say, racial inequality, upward economic and uh, social mobility in society is to provide people with a high quality education. Everyone deserves the same kind of opportunities that our children deserve. And we feel very strongly that that's the focus of our foundation and that's why we find Crystal Ray uh, so endearing. I'll start with the kids and trying to create something that brought them a new experience, new life experiences, forms them into, wow, I can do this. I can work in a business office. I can work downtown, uh, showing them sort of a broader picture of opportunity. When we consider organizations to fund, we evaluate effectiveness, efficiency, scalability, and really all of those things reflect on the quality of management. Cristo Rey does an outstanding job on all of those fronts. But what really makes them stand out in my mind is the commitment of the community, the commitment of that student who chooses a more difficult path in order to help themselves succeed. The Wilson Sheehan Foundation is proud to be a partner of Cristo Rey. This class has proven to me that we are a strong and compassionate group of people. What other class can say that they graduated during a pandemic? Arupe has impacted our lives and shaped us into the talented and hardworking people that we are now. The corporate work study program helped us grow in our work experience. We learned how to tie a tie, gave a proper handshake, how to behave in a professional manner. Just look at the resumes we have built. That was Jennifer Ruiz Alas, the 2020 valedictorian from Arupe Jesuit High School in Denver, Colorado. Graduations were, of course, a bit different this past year in the face of the pandemic that continues to touch all of our lives. And with corporate work-study jobs, Crystal Ray schools and students are working through even more challenges to ensure continued workplace learning and financial viability. The corporate work study program is such an important part of what makes Crystal Ray schools unique. As many of you watching likely know, Crystal Ray students work one full day per week in a professional setting. Our corporate partners include big companies like American Express, Expeditors, Accenture, AT&T, Ford, GM, Google, Discover, and Comcast, as well as healthcare companies, colleges and universities, and local nonprofits. The money students earn pays for roughly half of their own education cost, but the value and benefits for the students and for the workplaces that employ them go far beyond just a job placement. When I first started Cristore, I was a very, very, very shy girl. My corporate work study site was huge and I had never been in any corporate setting before. As I went to Cristore, I realized, wow, college is actually a possibility. I went through the corporate work study program and I was like, wow, a job is actually a possibility. And it actually turned reality for me and I'm so grateful. Because of the corporate work-study program I went through and working at U.S. Bank, I felt like I really loved the company and the culture, which made me want to find a job there once I graduated college. And through that job, I was 
developed and pushed to power my own potential and I became the vice president of a business resource group called Nosotros Latinos. It's now part of my responsibility to help empower and give people the drive to their potential as Latinos in the bank community. 15 year old Karina would be really impressed seeing me now and I think that as time goes on I really want to you know, move up in the corporate ladder and to actually have a presence as a Latina in the bank and you know make it a possibility for people so they can see that wow there is a Latina at US Bank that has this fancy title I didn't know that that could ever happen Going through the work study program, not only did I get access to US Bank, but US Bank got access to me. A big influence in my life was the corporate work study job placement. It's not every day that you get an opportunity to go to a corporation, understand their day-to-day -day operations, and be able to sit there and help out with that. I love going to work. And it helps me learn a lot and it helps me meet a lot of new people. The corporate work study program has helped me enhance my professionalism skills that I know will help me in the future. It has helped me communicate with people outside of my community and build those close relationships. I am so excited to be joined now by someone who has been an incredibly important part of my personal and professional journey. My former supervisor at Multiview, Larry Cardarelli. Larry, how are you? It's so good to see you. You look great. Oh, thank you. You too. It's just, it blows my mind that 10 years ago, I walked through the doors of Multiview and here we are. It's, it's uh, shocking how fast time goes. Um, but, you know, to your credit, you used every second at our uh, company well, and you definitely went on and did great things. And we're all so proud of you at Multiview. Thank you. Well, I have to ask you, Larry, on your end, what was it like to have, you know, a student such as myself working alongside you guys? Crystal raised students and, and starting with you, you are our first and you're the one we remember the most. Um, it, was a, it was a great experience because you were willing to do whatever we gave you to do, but you were always um, of the personality that wanted to do more and asked to do more and never sat back and was too quiet and made us uncomfortable. Um, you always were very outgoing and so we felt we could keep giving you more and you took more. and. Um, I could see personally that you were really um, in your uh, element. Well, I have to say a lot of that I credit to you guys. Um, so I'm curious, what is your advice to other corporations? Why should they do this? Take on a high school student? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a great question. Um, it, it, it may sound like a daunting experience. Um, you may be of the assumptions that these kids are kids and they're a little too young, but my experience with you and then my own kids is, is if you give them the responsibility and tell them what's at stake, it's amazing what everybody can do. It totally, totally worth the investment. Amazing. I remember this one time, I think, I forget which shoot you were putting together, but you were like, Kay, and I honestly, I felt like I was in a scene from Devil Wears Prada, and you were like, I need you to go out and get, you know, this item, that item, and be back by this time, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm heading out into the streets of New York, I gotta make sure I get all this stuff together, and I still think of that to this day, how you all, again, entrusted in me, you know, to get a job done, and to meet you, and just, you kind of let me fly, and I appreciated that. Well, we, we let you fly, but you showed us you could fly. It was our pleasure, honestly. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. I, again, I, I owe everything to you all of where I'm at right now. You know, I often tell people when I headed off to college, I knew a lot of the verbiage and the terms from our industry already because I had spent, you know, two years with you all. And I was just yes. like, oof. You I knew what B-roll is and you knew what a VO was. And there we go. There we go. And cut. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Larry. I really, really oh, appreciate my pleasure. this. And, you know, I just, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Seriously. Yes, my pleasure. Good luck to you. Thank you. Krista Ray students securing their first meaningful job out of college is the culmination of all those years of hard work in the classroom and in the workplace. Sometimes it just takes someone opening a door. And one of tonight's sponsors, Career Spring, does just that. As you'll see in this next piece, Career Spring's founder, Paul Pasoli, has deep ties to Krista Ray. 
I spent the majority of my career in the energy business. I was a managing director at JP Morgan, responsible for our global energy trading business. Um, but in 2014, I received a call that um, really changed the path of my life. Father Martinez, the founding president of Cristo Rey Jesuit in Houston, was diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer. And he thought I, I could be a good candidate to be president of Cristo Rey Jesuit. After a lot of prayer and thought, I made the decision to step in as interim president thinking it would be six to 12 months. Well, it uh, resulted in uh, me spending five years as president of Cristo Rey Jesuit in Houston, and it fundamentally changed the way I view the world, uh, which ultimately led me down this path to start this nonprofit called Career Spring. When I was president of Cristo Rey Jesuit, whenever I did make an introduction for a young person, it always resulted in something great. So then I sort of think, well, how do we do that at scale for every first generation student in America? And that's what led me to the idea for Career Spring. We are an online networking and placement platform for first generation students. And our vision is that every first generation student in America will find meaningful employment that maximizes their God given potential and enriches the labor market. I believe in the Crystal Ray model because I saw it work firsthand with hundreds of our students. I love Cristo Rey Jesuit. It's actually hard for me to talk about it without getting emotional. Those students and alumni are my inspiration for Career Spring because they have so much potential and they just need an opportunity. Joy and I are sponsoring this event because we believe in the Cristo Rey model. We have a family foundation and we give to many nonprofits, but we give disproportionately to Cristo Rey because we know it works. I aspire to be a, an engineer. My plans are to major in nursing and minor in psychology. One of my biggest goals is to become an architect and help nature and people coexist with one another. I want to make an impact on someone's life. I want to be able to change the world. Right now, I'm still deciding what to do since after all, these are times of uncertainty and especially for me. But I can say with confidence that because of everything that Chris Ray has given me, I can say with firm conviction that I am ready for any path, for all paths through this world, that I can succeed with 100% guarantee. When you hear these students talk about their future plans, those dreams that they have, getting to college is just the first step. Getting through college with that degree in hand is the mission of Cristo Rey. Cristo Rey graduates are more than twice as likely to complete a bachelor's degree by age 24 compared to the total U.S. low-income population. More than two times. That's a difference right there. And it wouldn't be possible without our university partners. Our now more than 60 university partners are dedicated to recruiting Cristo Rey students to their campuses and then supporting them once they're there. They all share in the knowledge that when Crystal Ray students succeed, we all succeed. One of those amazing university partners is none other than our very first, Georgetown University. Crystal Ray schools provide a context for young people to engage in the work of formation, to discern their purpose and understand their promise, the contribution that each of them can make on our world. For 25 years, Cristo Rey has created transformative experiences for our students. Georgetown has been a proud partner of Cristo Rey for many years. We're so fortunate to have had so many Cristo Rey alumni join our Georgetown community as undergraduates. In addition, we provide work study for our local Cristo Rey High School and summer immersion for high school students from around the country. On behalf of our entire Georgetown community, we offer our most sincere gratitude to the Cristo Ray Network for all that your work has made possible for our communities. I'm joined now via Zoom by Esmeralda Hermercio, Detroit Cristo Ray alumna, class of 2019 and current Georgetown student. Esmeralda, thank you so much for joining me. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing so well. I love the Georgetown swag you got going on. <laughs> That's it. Love it, represent. So tell me, why did you decide to go to Georgetown? It was a hard decision for me. I didn't know if I wanted to move out of state. 
So I just took the risk and I was like, I think that's Georgetown is the way so my goals can be accomplished. So I decided to risk it and I left. Amazing. Leaving home, oh, girl, I can relate. I went away for school as well. So, I mean, props to you. So how did your Crystal Ray education prepare you for Georgetown? It was a hard school because it was like a lot of demanding, a lot of homework. Um, I had several teachers, really cool teachers that just push you on a level that like I needed. They just believe in you and even more because we're a smaller class, it's like we get the most opportunities as we can. And so of course, I know you're in school now. Do you feel supported in your college years, even from the Crystal Ray Network? They still reach out to me. My uh, One of the college um, counselors, they went to visit me in Washington. I'm always feeling connected to Crystal Ray and Georgia and it's a network school. Uh, like, I didn't know there were other Crystal Ray kids, or, like, I never got to meet them. And it was kind of cool seeing, like, oh, you're a Crystal Ray kid, too? And just you just made friends of, like, that connection. So it always follows you in a good way. What's your advice to current Crystal Ray students? Don't be afraid of embarrassing yourself. For, and I'm just saying, like, take the risk. There's so many risks that people don't are not willing to take. I understand high school is, like, everyone has low confidence, and it's, like, an awkward time. But just, just take it. So what are your plans for the future? I hope to go to law school. I would love to go to the University of Michigan Law School. We'll see. And I was want, I went to Georgetown because I wanted to be an immigration lawyer. So oh, there you are. I look forward to seeing you do just that, Esmeralda. And thank you so much for taking time out to speak with us, really. Thank you so much. <laughs> The impact of Crystal Ray is evident, and our generous supporters help make our students' success possible. Help our current and future students right now. You can make a gift by selecting the blue Donate Now button on your screen or by texting GIVECRN to 41411. My wife Janet and I have been big Crystal Ray fans and supporters for years. Now, most people would acknowledge the need for education reform with higher standards and more equal access to a great education for all. I know we certainly do. And it's one of our country's most urgent needs. Christo Ray plays a unique and important role. The innovative work study program is powerful, both in forming our students and in funding the school. And that combined with strong academics and an education built on Christian values is a winning combination. The results speak for themselves. Congratulations and thank you to all of you who have made this a success. Staff, students, teachers, and generous donors. I am an American soldier. I am a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade on the field. I am disciplined, physically and mentally tough, trained and proficient in my warrior task and drill. I always maintain my arms, my equipment, and myself. I am an expert and I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the enemy of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am American soldier. Thank you for your service. 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 That video came courtesy of Crystal Ray Richmond High School, showing how their students paid respect to our veterans last year. With yesterday's observance of Veterans Day, let us all remember the contributions of so many who made our country what it is today. Students' participation in community events like that exemplify how a Crystal Ray education is one of personal growth.
During these four years, I have grown and learned so much. I have improved my skills such as communication, responsibility, and time management. St. Martin has helped me grow in a number of ways. It helped me grow spiritually um, and, and connecting with God, being involved with campus ministry. It's helped me grow in leadership opportunities. St. Martin has helped me grow as a person. It's helped me understand that things are not always going to go the way you think. Uh, and things are not going to be easy. But if you persevere, you work hard, uh, it will pay off. During my high school experience, I was able to discover my passions, my goals for the future, and my true identity. Cruz Ray has given me the opportunity to challenge myself, to go for the unknown, and to take risks so that I can succeed. Growth is a big theme for us and for the network's Putting Education to Work campaign. In order to grow, we need to know where we came from. The innovative Crystal Ray School model is now in its 25th year, and it all started with a bold plan at one school in Chicago's Pilsen neighborhood. We're here at Crystal Ray Jesuit High School, which is located in the Pilsen community of Chicago. We opened our doors 25 years ago, and so the campus looked a little bit differently, obviously. I think what we realized early on is the powerful impact that the entire Crystal Ray experience was having on students and families, and generations, quite honestly. Early on, the sentiment was what other communities around the country could also benefit from a very similar experience. I think what we've realized as a network is that we'll always stay true to mission and our founding values, yet around the country, different communities and different cities, they might have slightly different needs, slightly different history, slightly different demographics. And so each school needs to be very culturally focused on their local community. Folks who are at the Crystal Ray Network, we all see this as something larger than any of us. All of us, all across the country, we all want the same thing, which is we're trying to open up doors of opportunity and just educate good kids. The local impact of a Crystal Ray School is probably the most exciting piece of it for me because I've seen it firsthand. The dream for us is that one day a Crystal Ray graduate will be the principal, the president, the vice president of the corporate work study program, and that our alumni will really lead this institution and lead Crystal Ray schools all around the country. And that really is the hope and dream of what we're trying to do. When you think about who's gonna lead our country and our local cities moving forward, our graduates have the work ethic, have the values, have the perspective, have the humility, and have the empathy to really assume those leadership roles. And I think that's the real return on investment that communities should want these Crystal Ray schools just to continue to grow and expand because that return on investment is invaluable. No one realized the potential that this model had in the early 90s. There's a real sense of gratitude that what happened here in Chicago is being replicated in communities all across the country. I think we're just getting started. Christory Jesuit laid the groundwork for all the other schools that have followed. Thanks to the seed funding to replicate from BJ and BB Casson and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I'm beyond thrilled to be joined now by the person who was the founding president of Christory Jesuit 25 years ago. He currently serves as the Christory Network's chair emeritus and our chief mission officer. His leadership and charisma has been and continues to be invaluable to Christory's growth and success. Father John Foley, thank you so much for joining me. How are you? I'm wonderful, Kay. I'm delighted to be here. And I'm delighted to be here with you. Father Foley, that means so much, and I owe you all so much a debt. I am just, you know, incredibly grateful of the Crystal Ray experience. But I'm curious, where are you now? <laughs> I'm in Chicago. I'm at a Jesuit house in Chicago, but I'm trying to refer to my background. Yeah, that's a pretty neat Zoom background. You've got me fooled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that it's the um, it's the chapel at Cristo Rey Jesuit in Chicago. Um, it, it, that's since my time. That that when I was there, it wasn't it wasn't anywhere near as beautiful as it is right now. But that's the this is the church where Pope Francis made a virtual visit. So uh, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I'd say pretty cool. That's major. That is incredible. Oh, my goodness. Well, Father Foley, I'm curious. What were your goals for Crystal Ray in 1996? Our goals were to open a school. 
we asked the people in the neighborhood what what they most what they thought the Jesuits could could do for them, and the thing that they came back with was a, a, a college prep uh, high school. So um, that's what we did. From one school to now where we're at today, I feel like I already know the answer to this next one. But would you say the network has surpassed those goals? Oh my gosh, we were going to do a school, and it's turned out to be um, a network of schools, which is just blew us all away, but no one saw that coming. No one saw it coming. Incredible. What makes you most proud about Crystal Ray, Father Foley? People like you. That's uh, just, uh, we have the most wonderful network of alumni. We, we, have, we, we have graduated 20,000 young people. And so uh, it's just a huge blessing for, for our world that, um, People with, with so much talent, the talent was able to blossom and bloom and, and leave its mark in the world, and that's what we're about. Well, Father Foley, next up, I want to play for you and our audience a little video that was actually released earlier this year. So if you wouldn't mind just taking in a listen. Our mission is to make the kingdom of God concrete in the here and now, not merely to make things slightly better, but to affect transformational change at every level. At Cristo Rey, no one has ever taught you that you should be content with doing something small. Our world doesn't need a touch-up. It needs total renewal. May we have faith in a dream so ambitious as to border on the delusional with a healthy disregard for conventional thinking. May our hope be so outrageously bold that people will laugh at us if they knew what we hoped for. May our love lead us to fly in the face of human logic and make us instruments in helping our king establish his reign to bring true and lasting happiness to all of America. My message to you is a simple one. Keep on dreaming. Keep on dreaming. Wow. <laughs> what is your reaction to that, Father Foley? Well, it, 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 it reminds me, um, okay, and it underlines once again that uh, no one saw this coming. This is not our work. This is God. This, this work is beyond us. This network of schools was, uh, it, it's God's work. It's God has said, thanks, thanks for the idea. Thanks for, thanks for starting this. We're going we're gonna to take this and run with it. Well, I would say you all are doing it. Thank you so much, Father Foley, for joining us and for being here at this event and all of the groundwork you've done and continue to do for Krista Ray. It was so great speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dee. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much to our donors for making it possible for us to go to school. I also want to say a special thank you to our donors for making this opportunity possible for me and other black and brown students to express themselves and to make their dreams more attainable. Knowing that somebody actually cares, they actually put money towards your education uh, is very meaningful to me. And I know that other people appreciate it as well. Thank you to the donors. I wouldn't be where I'm at right now without you. You guys play a huge role in making sure that students like me get to have big dreams. We all want to say thank you to our donors who have graciously and who have benevolently given so much of their time, money, resources, and just believing in the mission of Krista Ray. You have changed the lives of thousands of students. And we all thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We truly cannot say it enough to all those who make the Crystal Ray Network and our schools a reality. You are truly making a difference in the world. It certainly made a difference in my life. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. With that, I'd like to leave you with this short prayer from three of our Crystal Ray students. We give thanks. Thanks for your belief in our movement. For our talented and committed teachers and staff. For our 3,500 corporate partners. For our 59 university partners. For our 38 religious sponsors. And for our many generous donors and investors. For the opportunity to learn and grow as young people prepared to pursue our dreams. For yesterday, today, and tomorrow. 
Bless us all during this unprecedented time. May God be our source of hope. With grateful hearts, thank you from the Crystal Ray Network. If you haven't yet, I invite you to give what you can to support the Crystal Ray Network's Putting Education to Work campaign. Just select the blue Donate Now button on your screen or text GIVECRN to 41411. Once again, thank you all for joining us. Your engagement, your support, and your prayers are instrumental in helping to power the future of our schools and our students. I'd like to thank our event sponsors, Career Spring, BJ and BB Casson, and Thomson Reuters. Also, thank you to our many table hosts who, with their friends and families, achieved personal fundraising goals. Everyone's participation made this event a success. On behalf of the Chris Array Network, our faculty and staff, our students and their families across all 37 schools, thank you and have a blessed evening. <laughs>